Okay, so today with Hangman, we are going to take a look at making our code a little bit more user-friendly. Well, I say user-friendly, more coding-friendly. To try and reuse code. To do that, we're going to use functions. So we're going to use the code that we've already got and just modify it so it's in a position that we could recall it over and over again. Because at the moment, we just take in one guess. Pretty poor game of Hangman. Let's take a closer look and see how we can use functions to improve our code. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is create a function to just get the guess for me, because at the moment you can imagine as the game of Hangman goes over and over and over and through and through and through, you're going to have to get a guess regularly. It's not going to be a case if you get one guess and then all of a sudden your program ends. So I want to get the guess or the input from the player as many times as I call this function really. So to create a function I use def to define the function. I then need to call it something, and you'll notice the colour coding. So in this case, I'll call it get guess, and then I need to open and close some brackets. You'll notice just like the ifs and the fors, you've got the colon right at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the guess, and I'm going to say that the guess is blank to begin with. Oh, wait a second. I've written all this out. I'm not going to type all that again. Cut that, and let's move it up. I haven't got... Oh, well, I'm not going to cut any of the... Um, movement out of this video either. So where I've got to indent, I'm making sure I include that in because the define function, you'll notice a bit like the ifs underneath, needs that space. Now I'm going to return the guess that is created so that we can use it later on. Now all I have to do is type return guess and let's just make sure I can get one. Get guess. You'll notice whatever's in blue is what I use to type in, in a function name. And let's press F5 and find out. There we go. Please enter a guess. It seems to be working. Excellent. So there's no change in the program and how it works. I've just made that function so I can call it again and again and again if I want to. Now I guess I'm going to need another function as well. I'm going to need one to check my guess or check the input that's put into the system because not only when they do we need to get the guess repeatedly, we'll also want to check their input. So the function that we're going to do now checks the guess. Now we've already written the code for it so I'm going to be able to cut and paste just as I did before but this is a longer piece of code. Now if I go scroll down towards it it's an awful long piece of code so I'm going to have to cut it. I'm going to have to move it underneath the def to create my new function. The trouble is if I run it now it's just going to give me a load of syntax errors saying that it is improperly indented, it doesn't know where the function starts so I need to make sure each and every line underneath this one has been indented by a tab. I'm not going to speed this bit up, it does take a little bit of time. Do make sure you take care as to each and every line, so move down one at a time, has to be indented. Indented? Indented. Alright. Again, takes a little while, but as long as you do this step nice and smoothly, and take care as you're going through each one, it will then work, hopefully, fingers crossed, when it comes out the other side. Now the output still needs to be moved across as well. Okay, so just the else and what was underneath it. Right, now I'm ready to call the function. So to call the function, I'm not returning anything at the moment because I don't want anything back from it, but I do want to make sure I check my guess and then I open and close the bracket. So it's just the words that were written in blue with the brackets next to it and hopefully when I press F5 it'll work as it did before with no differences which is brilliant. I might want to check it a couple of times but I'm quite certain now that my code is actually calling those functions and repeating those processes. So I could, after I've checked it, this last one, I could now check my guess again there's nothing stopping me because I can recall that function over and over again. So let's just add a new line and yeah, I think I can. Add a new line and check guess. Underscore guess. Bracket close bracket. F5. I'm realising I've done something silly because I think this is going to check the same piece twice. Brilliant. Well done Marshall. Let's get another guess. So it repeats that same process. It takes a guess in from the user, it checks it. It then takes another guess in from the user and checks it. Let's have a look. 
So my first guess is E. It doesn't contain an E. Let's try something else. And it doesn't contain. So you can see the difference between the two ones that I've tried because output doesn't contain either of them. Um, let's try it one more. E. Is that processing? It was. Well, that's interesting. Because it's case sensitive, it doesn't recognise the lowercase p that I entered with the capital P. Pretty sure anybody playing Hangman's going to get a little bit annoyed that because of that they're not going to be able to use it. Now where do I select a random word for the list? Brilliant, that's there, and luckily the comments help me straight to it. Right at the end of that line I can put a full stop and the function lower. It's already built into Python and it looks at strings and just turns them in all into lowercase. E is in there, um, microphone. Brilliant, so it keeps that M and it recognises it. Now one of the things that you're going to have to notice on this one is that both of my guesses don't fill both of the dashes. That'll be interesting. Good luck.